the Batman mask. There you go. better than Hey there, hi there, ho there. How are you guys today on this beautiful day? That's right, it's beautiful. It's cloudy, but it's beautiful out. I did you guys a favor last night, and I decided to uh, go ahead and park after I got reloaded about 50 miles down the road because I wanted you guys to see the scenery on the way back. That's right, I completely parked just for you guys could see scenery. Had nothing to do with it being a long enough day, and I decided to go ahead and go to bed. Yeah, I wouldn't believe that. I got tired. When I get tired, I park. Someone asked why I check my oil so much. No secret to it, these motors are big. These engines are big, these engines work hard. This truck doesn't use any oil other than when it's close to uh, changing time. So, realistically it doesn't need checked every day, but I'm gonna check it because if it's low or something happened, and a lot of oil disappeared. I want to catch it before it's too late. Because to rebuild this engine, you don't want to know how much that cost. Whew. Well, we're about, give or take, a little bit over a thousand miles from home right now. We got some trucking to do, so we best just go get it done. I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. take a little stroll up Black Mountain. It's a little bit of a pole, not horrible. First last can handle it pretty good. Um, gets a little loud in here. I'm going to hit record and I'm not going to put music to it because I, I want you to hear how loud it gets in here on that pole. I'll talk to you in a little bit here after we get up to the top maybe.
my daddy thinks my truck is just too dirty. So now I gotta stop and get it washed. This is your fault, Dad, if it uh, rains on me in 20 miles. Just wanted to let you know. Well, as you can see, we're in another line. Unlike yesterday, though, I'm not throwing a temper tantrum like a little baby. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, go ahead and go back there and watch it if you want to. First last needs a little bit of a bath. My daddy says it's dirty, so... We better wash it if Dad says it's dirty. Got to keep talking to a minimum on this video because I recorded a lot of, uh, I guess you'd call it B-roll. I, I recorded a lot of footage of going through the gorge up, our, up Black Mountain, you know, because it's the gorge is so much prettier when you're heading west versus heading east. But just remember this guys, when you're looking at that video, you're watching a camera on a cell phone. So a camera on a cell phone on the interstate does not do the Smoky Mountains justice. You really got to see it in person in order to really appreciate it because they are, they are beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful ride on a motorcycle. It's a beautiful drive in a car. On the home front side though, I think I made Warden kind of upset with me, rightfully so. I really, when I get home, I really need to work on, I guess you'd say isolation, extreme social distancing. Because when I was home last time, you know, I still went down the bomb guards. I was still working side by side with dad. Um, I, I think I gave my kids, you know, Tater Tot and Little Bud, I think I gave them a false sense of how serious the whole situation is right now. So I'm not home. And now the kids are getting mad at Warden because she's not letting them do certain things that I kind of laxed on the rules. I mean, they already don't hang out with their friends anymore. You know, I still let them go for walks and run around town a little bit, but they're by themselves, you know, with each other or with us. I have an idea. A uh, girl that I went to school with and now is my wife's co-worker has kind of got me fired up on starting a new hobby. I call this a hobby right here, but she kind of gave she's kind of got me fired up on a, one, a new hobby. I'm not going to tell you what that hobby is yet. We're going to wait until I get home to see if I actually do this hobby or if I'm just thinking about it now while we're out on the road. And if I even have time for another hobby. I mean, if it's nice out, you guys have heard me countless times talk about what I need to do to the truck. And even my projects at home, you know, I want to build another box for the back of my pickup. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, go back a few vlogs, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I want to put new fence posts into my fence, but that requires going to the lumber yard. We're not supposed to do those things right now. You know, we have the Batman mask. Batman. There you go. All right, guys. I'm just going to stop talking now. And uh, let's go get this thing washed up. A little bit more on the topic of waxing when I was home. You know, I was letting the kids, you know, go over to Grandma and Grandpa's willy-nilly and everything. And they want to go to Grandma and Grandpa's. The bad part is we're not supposed to. My, now, my parents aren't old. I give them stress at the roll, but it's just stress. But they are above 60. So, I don't know what to do there, you know. They want to see Grandma and Grandpa, which is rightfully so. And it is getting nice enough out, I could say, just outside, keep your distance type stuff. That way, I don't get them sick. I cannot let my parents get sick. I already, I already have Grandma in the hospital. I, I can't have my parents getting sick. I got to get grandma out of the hospital, but that's just to add to it a little bit. I don't, I don't know what to do. You know, do I say, uh, they're grandma and grandpa. You've been isolated for two weeks. You're fine to go over there. Or do I say you can only see them outside. Make sure you got a mask on and we do the right thing.
I don't know. You should probably listen to what the professionals say. I'm beginning to think maybe I am overreacting a little bit to this whole virus thing. We're in Tennessee right now, probably truck wash getting washed up. No masks or nothing, so maybe I'm just overreacting. Maybe I just need to calm down, live life like normal for a little bit. What are you guys doing? Are you guys overreacting with me or are you just living life like normal? There you go, Daddy. You best leave a comment on here that says, Man, that truck looks clean now. Well, since we're stopped, truck's clean, the motor's clean, let's run over to the dealership and see if they got a radiator cap for me. can't just be me. Does anybody else get that warm feeling in your tummies when uh, your truck is clean? Yes, I know. My truck needs polish. Bad. Really bad. But when she's clean, I mean, she's so pretty. So darn pretty. All right, let's pop this radiator cap off. Hopefully they have what I need in here. Well, that's a no-go. They don't have one. Apparently I passed a Kenworth dealership about 20 miles back. I don't remember doing that. That's all right. We'll throw the cap back on and hope for the best. I don't think it's going to leak too bad. If I top the tank off, then it would leak. One handed is difficult, but I will do it. See, I did it, one handed. I'm getting good at being one handed since you guys come around. Let's get back in the truck, get back to trucking. Because that's what I do. I am an essential worker. I keep telling myself that to make myself feel better. I'm cool. I'm awesome. I'm an essential worker. Is it working for you guys? Do I look cooler? See you in a little bit. Well, we are currently a, at a little pull-off here right around Lake City, Kentucky right now. We've rolled about 425 miles so far today. And I figured it's a good time to stop, check the lights out, make sure they're all working or not working. We remember, we still have some that don't work. And I'm feeling the, the craving for some cereal I like to eat cereal 
All the lights are working so far. Well, guess who I talked to today? I talked to my grandma. I gave her a jingle a little bit earlier. We sat and talked for, gosh, probably about 30 minutes on the phone. She's doing good. She is sounding really good. She's healing up. Doc thinks maybe here by another five days she'll get out of there and get to go home. So we're feeling really good about that. We were talking about my new hobby that I'm thinking about starting doing. My new hobby that I'm thinking about starting to do. That sound a little better. Whew. Yeah, we talked. Uh, let me think here. I asked her about if she had any cases of that nasty stuff in the hospital she's at right now. And nope, no cases of it. It's you gotta kind of feel lucky to live in small town Iowa when that stuff. When you hear that, because a lot of places are full of it. The hospital she's in, though, nope, she doesn't have any cases. They did test her to see if she had it. It's like I said yesterday. Was it yesterday or day before? She's got a little bit of uh, pneumonia in her left lung. So, of course, they're going to test her. She said when she got there, they put her into a quarantine area. She said it was scary. She doesn't want to go back there. Well, other than that, talk to Grandma, and she's doing good. All my lights are working. I think we're ready for the sun to go down. While that sun's going down, I think I'm going to jump up in the sleeper and eat some cereal. I'll talk to you guys here in a little bit. I-24. I'm betting this video is going to be kind of a long video, but I didn't want to fast forward it through all the, all of the, uh, the scenery going through the gorge again, because it's just too pretty. So I left it in there, and if you've made it this far into the video, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And this is the point where I remind you, like the video if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I think it might help. Not all my videos are this long, so don't worry. I'm going to eat me some cereal. Yeah, again. I had it earlier. I'm going to eat it again. And uh, go to bed. We're going to wrap this week up tomorrow. Then it's off for a few days. Guys, be happy, be healthy, let's try to stay safe. I'll see you tomorrow.